Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of developing and scanning and editing your film at home. And if you haven't seen the first part of this little mini series, then go ahead and go back and watch part 1. I'll show you guys how to develop colour film at home. But right now we're going to be scanning that film that we just developed. Um, so here we are, what you can see here is my little scanning station. I've got my laptop there, I've got my little... You will see I've got my little hard drive plugged into the left there, just off camera. And what I'm doing right now is getting, if I can just get the, yeah, I've got some gloves on, I've got my scanner over there, and I've got my film sleeve ready to go. Right now, I'm cutting the film up into six frame strips. So every sixth frame, I'm cutting it. Now I'm inserting the frame into the film mask. Slide in, that's one, and now two. You, you want to insert it um, upside down, back to front, secure that into place, and then you want to, you're going to see, I'm going to go mental with a rocket blower. Squat, 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 squat. Basically, you want to get rid of every speck of dust as much as possible because this will make your life a lot easier in post getting rid of dust. You don't get rid of every single speck of dust, but you want to be able to basically, if you you want to do a good job of it, you know, take your time, do both sides, you know, I, I even scan the, the scanner itself, and that's the rocket blower, I'll links in the description, don't worry about it. So now I've fired up the scanner um, program up on my laptop, first things first, you've got to choose where you want to save the, the scans, um, so what you do is you go to where you want to go, you go to, so this is where I I save my stuff. Boring, boring, boring. Uh, obviously, this will be different for everyone. I don't know. Wherever you save yours, that's where you're going to do it. So, so I've shot this on the 18th of February, so I make a new folder for my camera. And there you go. And then I insert here the file name I set as the film stock, and it's Fuji Industrial 100, and OK. So that was in the settings, by the way. So now you go to scan gear, um, and the scanner I'm using is a Canon 9000, a Cano Scan 9000F. Just in case you guys are wondering. Um, so now what I'm doing here is you want to choose color for color mode, obviously, because it's color film. And for the output resolution, I usually do 1200 DPI just for archiving, but since um, with, you know, I'm going to do this for YouTube, I'm going to bump that up to 4800 just so that we get some really nice crispy images for you guys to see. So now you press preview and now the scan is going to give you a preview of each of the scan, or each frame rather. And I'm zooming in, I select them all. Now I'm just going through every single frame and just you know, reorienting them to how I want them to be, so they're not upside down obviously. Right side up, flip the do, and there we go. And another rotate, and another flip the do, and rotate, and just going through all of them. That's about 12 of them. Don't worry, guys, bear with me. Now, you're going to see that some of these came out a little bit in magenta. That kind of happens sometimes. So, I'm just going to correct the white balance there, and what I found to work for me most of the time is uh, minus 5 on the cyan red and a plus 10 uh, for the magenta green and that sort of you know most times 9 times out of 10 it sorts out that little magenta cast so I'm just going through the rest of them come on let's go yeah we go last one rotate it rotate it there you are close that and all you can do is hit scan, and you're gonna see why I don't. Um, see, look, it takes 20 minutes, guys, just for 12 frames. And there you go, guys. That's the video. That's how I scan my film. Tune in for part three, where I show you guys how I edit those little bad boys. I know, controversial. How dare you? How dare you edit film? Oh my god. Anyway, so. So if you like the video, like the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you guys have any tips? Do you? You know, do you scan your film yourself? Um, has this convinced you to try scanning yourself? Subscribe if you haven't already. Man's on a mission. 
We're going for that big 10 0 0 0 0 subscribers subscribers this year just so you know in case you don't know how things work around here we i upload to this channel twicely because twice is twice as nice and yeah share this with your mom share this with your dad comment down below something nice follow my instagram as Zane shoots film check out my portfolio as aimreader.com and with all that said and done as always guys keep learning keep shooting i'll see you all in the next one Peace.